Hi guys, it's Crystal. So yesterday I did a video explaining to you and kind of reviewing the Lorac Bejeweled Day to Night Jewelry Box. Gorgeous, gorgeous um, set that comes with drawers full of palettes that you can also turn into just a jewelry box. It comes with full-size bronzer, full-size pencils, eye pencils, full-size lip glosses. It's a wonderful set. And today I wanted to show you a bit of what it could do. I use the night palette. I use the blush, the lip glosses, bronzer, everything. So I hope that you enjoy. And if you don't have this, no worries. If you have a good gray, and I mean a gray that's a true gray, doesn't turn blue, go ahead and follow along. And I would love to see your look. Thanks, guys. So I moisturized my face and I used the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. For my primer and foundation, I used my Laura Geller Spackle, water-based. And then I used my Revlon Color Stay with Soft Flex. Both water-based, they work wonderfully together. For concealer, I used my Laura Geller The Real Deal Serious Coverage in light. Then I went ahead and primed my eyes with the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. Many of you have been asking me to use this and do a review, so I'm trying to use it uh, a bit more often. So I'm going to be working from the Lorac Night Palette. I'm trying not to blind you. I just did a review on the Lorac Bejeweled set, so if you'd like to see that, go ahead and check that out. I used the blush from this palette. It's a beautiful, very pinky blush. We will be bronzing at the end, but I want to make sure that we need bronzer in certain places before I bronze. You should always wait to do bronzer after your eyes are done. This is going to be a really fun gray smoked out look. So I'm going to start by taking this little smash box and this is the Brow Tech and Cream Liner Palette. There's a gorgeous putty liner in here. Which is right here called Thunder. And I'm going to just pop that on with my finger. It's a beautiful gray. I'm going to put that all over my lid. You can blend it up and out a bit, but this is going to work as a wonderful base. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gray right here from the Nighttime Palette. I'm going to take that on my E25 by Sigma. And I'm not going to go above my crease. I don't want to go above my crease at all. Now I'm just taking an E35, and this is just a blending brush. MAC 224 will work. Your Sonia Kashuk blending brush will work. And I'm just going to blend out that edge we have. Now I'm going to take this color, which is a really pretty grayish color. It's a little bit of a cooling depth that we're giving this look, but in a different shade. Now I'm going to work on my brow bone and then just a bit of a contour color. I'm going to go into this color right here, which has silver but pinkish aspects in it, which I like. So if you have a bit of like a pinkish kind of Shimmer, I think that's going to counteract really nicely. And I think that grays look really beautiful with pink. I love gray and pink. Now I'm going to take just this pretty silver right here, dip into that, and have that kind of blend down. Normally I wouldn't take another shimmer or a shimmer so close to the other colors for a transition. But I like the silver and the gray going into the silver. I think that that's just perfect. Now for the fun part, what I'd like to do, I'm going to take just a thin kind of shader brush. And there's tons of great colors in this palette. I'm actually going to go, I think, with this really pretty green right here. I like that so much and I've been dying to use it. So I'm going to take that green and I'm just going to start putting it under my eye thick so that I can smoke it out and get that real green color showing. Okay now I'm taking um, my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil blending brush. This is the best brush in the world. If you do not have any other brush get this one. And I'm just going to lightly smoke out 
that bottom so we see that green a little better. Now for that eyeliner, I'm using the Lorac eye pencil that came with this. It's the nighttime one, so it's black. I'm going to tight line, water line, and I'm just going to use this for my lash line. You can definitely do a liquid liner, but I think that this will be fine. You can certainly smudge out that pencil a bit, just so that it's not like a ring around your eye. I'm going to use Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara for this. So here is the drawer that goes in this little area. For those of you who did not see how this works, your palette goes there, your little pencil goes in here, and your drawer fits right back there. So when you open this, you've got lip glosses and a bronzer. I'm going to use the rose lip gloss intended for the night look, and it comes again with two full size lip glosses. It's a beautiful color. So there's that. And I do think that this look would benefit from some bronzer. Not a lot, but you know, anytime, like I said, when you're working with grays or colors that may wash you out, a bronzer isn't a bad idea. I love the bronzer it comes with. It's in the color bronze. So I'm not going to contour. What I am going to do is apply bronzer anywhere that the sun would naturally hit. I think that that would be the best way to go for a look like this. So a little bit on my forehead, a little bit down my nose, a little bit over that blush. And up a bit. So here's the completed look. Just beautiful gray smoked out eye and it's more of the traditional smoked out eye where you have a nice gray base or a nice smoky colored base and then we just worked upwards basically and had it fade out. And I really wanted an opportunity to show you just what this Lorac palette can do. It's a wonderful palette. Again, it is it, or it was just for Christmas but I know that you can go and find them at Makeup Alley where you can do lots of swapping, safe swapping at Makeup Alley. Um, I know that you can go on eBay, anything like that, and you can probably find this, and it's definitely worth it because there's so many great colors, several full-size items, which you can't beat. This bronzer, again, I love this. When I saw that, or when I unwrapped this entire gift, um, I was just jumping up and down. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!